Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Chassidus in the morning. 15 minutes to change your life. Conscious in Yonah, Shatur, Chassidus, on the essence of Chassidus. Again, this share is for Rafur Shalema, Chaim Baruch, Leazar Ben, Reza, Esther. Okay, so let's continue where we're holding. So basically, we were discussing, so just a, a quick summary that now we asked, what is Chassidus? And we gave a few answers, you know, that it's to transform you, that uh, it has come from the Vashat came when the Jewish world is in a state of faintness. Um, yeah, the, the Chassid goes, the Fnum Shosadin goes above the letter of the law, all these different nice, good ideas. And so essentially, in base, we said that is not what Chassidus is, that's an outcome of Chassidus. Is. Chassidus is the quintessential point. It's the essence, and from that essence, these things come. Then we said, essentially, yesterday we said, essentially, Torah is this. The difference is, and sort of what we're going to talk about today, is Torah is also the end, quint- quintessential point of everything. And that's why we said, like the story of the Friedrich Rebbe, that everyone was discussing the miles of different type of, different type of uh, governmental systems and everyone was bringing proof from the Torah. And the Friedrich Rebbe said, everyone has a point because the tr- truth that they have is coming from Torah and that's Torah is true. And, and, and all the truth that we find in the world is from Torah. And also we said something that that, that was an example of, of the way it is, because everything's divided into like intellect and emotions. So on the emotional level, that's what, you know, like how to, how to behave, behavioral type of things. And we also said intellectually, that is the highest intellectual idea. Because it's the will and wisdom in, in the, amongst the people. So that's why we said the Torah. Yeah, and that's so that's Torah. But the difference is, and this is sort of what we're going to talk about today, is that Chassidus brings that quintessential point out more than other aspects of Torah. The other aspects of Torah, they really sort of focus on certain parts of it. Like the... Like the, the the Pshat, the Ramaz Rishon said, all these different ways of explaining it, they're talking about specific things. Whereas the Torah, what, whereas Chassidus is sort of the depth of the depth of it and really clearly brings out this point. And then, yeah, we'll give another example of this in terms of Mashiach. Okay. Bottom of page 31 in this Sefer. Achein bat ashikal even though all parts of Torah, the essential, the Nakuda Ha'atzmis, their essential point is that they are united with the Ain Saif Baruch Hu, with God infinite, God's infinite light or infinity. The Chalza, nevertheless, Iker Nakuda Zu, this point mainly mispatted between Chasidus, is mainly brought out with Chasidus. Like I explained in the Maimer that was said above uh, before, is that Chassidus alone is the one that draws down from the Ain Saif that's in the level of Radla. Kikal but all parts of Teira, the level of the infinite, infinity of it. Meaning, meaning the godliness of it. That in that's where they're being included. Who beis it's here. It's in a specific form. Tir hamagdir that that limits umavate and like sort of expresses gita reis mahus the essence of this part of the term. The tir zeh shel chelik shel chelik tir zeh in this form of this part of the Torah, whether it's a pshat, the remez, the drush, or the side, which whichever level it is. It conceals on the simplicity of the Ain Saif that's included within it, meaning all parts of Torah are essentially Ain Saif. But when you express it, it gets expressed in a specific manner, and that sort of conceals the Ain Saifness of it. It's like what we said before saying Chassidus is that you cut, you burn your nails. That's not, that's, that's covering over the essence of what Chassidus is. Yeah, yeah. It's like the concealment of a garment that you can't change. I mean, you have clothing you can change. You have garments sort of like your skin that you can't change. And and meaning, so to speak, these levels 
Of course, they're essentially talking about Ein Saif, but the way they express is in a specific way with a specific garment, with like skin that it can't be changed. So you can't, they can't express in a revealed way this infinity of Torah, this oneness with Hashem. But unlike Chassidus, this is not limited to a specific form, and so to speak, forms which Chassidus reveals. It's like the garments that can be changed, like wearing clothes. And that's what Chassidus has within it. Can, it includes within it all the four levels of interpretation. Shabbat Torah. Machaya is something that gives life to them. As we're going to explain later in discussing with Ani. So this concealment that Chassidus brings, like the clothing, it's not a true concealment. Hamitis, Amiti, as Pshito, Sein Seif Shabbat. Chassidus, even when it gets revealed into specific levels, it doesn't take away, as we're going to explain with the Maidani, in its in its ultimate simplicity, meaning the quintessentialness, the oneness that it has with the Ein Seif, with God. So what we're saying is that every other level, even though essentially it's Ein Seif, essentially it's one with God, but when it gets expressed in this world, it gets limited by that way that expresses it and sort of stuck, just like your skin, you can't just remove your skin, they are like stuck to that type of interpretation, so it conceals over the, the oneness with God, whereas Chassidus doesn't. Chassidus is like wearing garments, so you can change them, take off your clothes, and, and, and switch them, so Chassidus doesn't have that issue. So now let's understand this example, and, and, and really the Rebbe is trying to, it's like a beautiful thing, he's trying to like explain to us this concept really well, and he's going to explain to us an in, in example of, of, of uh, Mashiach, and all this we've been explaining is really still building up this good, strong foundation to then be able to apply it to one example of Maidani. And he's going to show you all these things that we're talking about now. He's going to show it to you in the Maidani. And then our job is to take that and realize it in everything else and, and sort of and spend the time to really think about and understand it, how, how we can do that with everything. Let's see. Dalad. So, obey your Mahusa. So to understand the essence of the Torah of Chassidus, this will, we, can, we can make it very clear, very, very nice, by understanding the idea of the Pneumius of Mashiach. Because like it's saying, the reward, like it's known in the saying, the reward of the mitzvah, we know the essence of it. And through spreading out Chassidus. Hasidus, Asimar, will come a master, Mashiach will come to Malka, Mashiach. Hare, Minyan, Isha Mashiach. So, therefore, being that the, the reward for doing learning Hasidus and internalizing Hasidus and applying Hasidus is that you're going to bring Mashiach, Mashiach is going to come. And that's the reward. So, three, understanding the reward, we can understand the Hasidus. Hare, Minyan, Isha Mashiach, Schara, Nadez, Mahusa. From knowing the reward, Mashiach will understand the essence of what, what we're talking about here, what's Hasidus. When it comes to, in regards to Mashiach's coming, there'll be a lot of different things happen, a lot of holy, high, love, lofty things. For example, Gulas Yisrael, Vashchina, Me'agalus, being redeemed from Golas, us and, and, and the Shechina, and God's, uh, God's presence. The Mayim is there, and on a higher level, Yiyu Yisrael, Chacham, Gudelim, who would be very wise, V'yoyedim, Devarim, Hastumim, will understand things that are, that are, that are are at the moment concealed, the Asigu Das Baram, and we'll be able to understand the, the knowledge of our Creator. Mala Aras the the world will be filled with knowledge of God. And Lamai was an even higher than this, Shinui Vikidush or Mais Rashi. So be total transformation in the creation of the world, the way the world acts, the way the world is. So that's the different levels of, of what happens when Mashiach comes. We will be smarter, there'll be more knowledge, the world will be transformed. These are some some ideas. Now there's a bracket over here. Um, we'll, we'll read it. I just feel like you can just skip it, but we'll read it anyway. And this is that it says there's no real difference between when Mashiach comes besides who's going to be king. <laughs> There's only the beginning of Mashiach. 
Ubefrat al pi mashka also v'ray mehemna. This is what it says in v'ray mehemna. Shemayim zeh nema b'negel amaraz. This is really talking about the simple people. Masha ain't came b'negel tamid chamim. God tell tamid chamim. So he's saying even though does say in a certain place that nothing's going to really change, he's saying it's not really true. That's only for the beginning parts, but afterwards it's going to change. So so don't get caught up in that. So essentially, when Mashiach comes, there's going to be a lot of changes, a lot of positive, good positive changes, deeper and deeper and deeper. Godliness that is high than nature will be revealed in this place. We would, will read Hashem's name the way it's written. That that a lot of times is, is words, it's called Kriyank Siv. It's written a certain way, but we don't read in that way. But when Mashiach comes, we have to read everything because, because that is something that's hidden at the moment. And we can't really read it properly. But when Mashiach comes, everything will be revealed and we have to read it properly. So the whole world will be this whole level of revelation. Because the whole world will be revealed a level of Hashem, of Avaye, which is as God is revealed above creation. But that will be revealed in creation. At the moment, what we get is a revelation of Elikim, how God manifests himself in nature. So it's very concealed. When Mashiach comes, it's going to be all revealed. This level of past, present, future as one. Which is higher than time and place. The dogma is Hagilish Abay Smith is like at the time of Basement was a revelation of godliness. That's what's going to be in the whole world. But Vitechen, Vitechen in Yanim Elu, Yishadesh Lai Rak, Bail Mazem, El Bhalim. And this will happen not just in our physical world, but in all the spiritual worlds. Kihan Hagas Baila Malyanim, because what happens in the highest spiritual worlds, who can feed Seda and Haga Bail Mazah Azah? It's dependent and it's affected by the what we do down here. So what you do makes an infinite difference. It makes a difference not just in our physical world, which has a butterfly effect, which really permeates everything you do. It affects the whole world. But even more, it affects also the spiritual worlds. A simple example that ever gives is like Rosh Chodesh. In the festivals. Which on Rosh Chodesh and on Yom Tov, the additional light. Now, back in the day, how did we decide if it's Rosh Chodesh? Amata. It was, people went to the base and they said, hey, I saw the moon, it's Rosh Chodesh. And they, they test them, ask them questions, and they say, yeah, fine, you're right. So today's Rosh Chodesh. And some years, let's say you'd have, um, you have two Adar, two Adars because it was a leap year. That, that was the, the, decided back in the day from, yeah, from a person. And what happens when you have that? So you have a Purim, you have a Pesach on a different day, and you have a Shavuos on a different day, and all these days that have changed because of what we've said, that additional earth that comes on those days is based off what we've done, which is showing us very clearly that what we do has an effect. Since all the details in the whole world will be transformed when Mashiach comes, this will also be in the high world. But after everything we said, all these differences have when Mashiach comes, is that what Mashiach essentially is? Or is that an expression of what Mashiach is? Even they're so great and we can transform things and we're affecting the higher world and we're bringing down Gilead Lukus on such a high level we've never experienced before. Nevertheless, that's not what Mashiach is. That's coming out of what Mashiach is. They're just ramifications of an essential point of what Mashiach is. I would love to go further, but I think we should stop here and start off tomorrow at Hay. So again, what we're showing here, what we've seen a few times, and we're seeing this again, that essentially what th th there's, there's the effect of something, and then there's the essence of what that thing is. Just like for ourselves, you wouldn't say, I am my toenails, I am my foot, I am... And, and the expression of that is in my toenails, in my foot, and in my hands, in my body, and all the things. You can't say, I am my intellect. I am my emotions. That's an expression of who I am. So to what we're saying here, that, that Mashiach, like, with, like in regards to the case of the Mashiach, that Mashiach is not Gilead Lekus. Mashiach is not Shem Havai being revealed himself in this world like it wasn't based on Migdash. That's an Agam Mashiach. Is. Mashiach is not that we become wise. It's like, uh, you know, the little kids, when you, you know, they tell you, Mashiach comes, you can have all, whatever you want. So Mashiach is not that I can eat as much chocolate as I want. That, that does happen, and all those things are true, and they're very high and lofty levels, and, and it, you know, we would appreciate it, it would be amazing. 
But that's not what Mashiach is. That's an act of what Mashiach is. And tomorrow we're going to explain what Mashiach essentially is. And, and we're getting closer to, to being able to appreciate what, what this essentially is. And through understanding what Mashiach essentially is, we understand what, what Chassidus really is. And to understand what Chassidus really is, we can understand how to, how to, how to realize what Chassidus is in our learning. Because what we're really showing here is Chassidus is not another Pirush on Torah, so another explanation on Torah. So this is the essence of what Torah is. And therefore, when you learn Chassidus, you should be able to apply that idea into every aspect of Torah. It's a beautiful, beautiful idea, very, very deep, very profound, the fundamental idea to, to be continued tomorrow.